Dear friends, I am Urmi Satyan from Pandit Deen Dayal Energy University. This lecture is prepared for the students of History of English Literature. The subject of discussion is to critically appreciate the play Arms and the Man by George Bernard Shaw. But before that, let us have a quick and brief introduction of the playwright George Bernard Shaw. Shaw was born on 26th July 1856 and died on 2nd November 1950. He was an Irish playwright, critic and a political activist. It was in 1876 that he immigrated to England and acquired the English citizenship. Shaw's plays are divided into two parts, plays pleasant and plays unpleasant. Plays pleasant have a gentle humor with an intention to showcase the vanity associated with the rich class, whereas plays unpleasant have a harsh tone of satire. But in both the collections, social realism is the focal point of discussion. His plays pleasant comprises of plays like Arms and the Man, Candida, The Man of Destiny and You Never Can Tell and plays unpleasant are Mrs. Warren's Profession, Widower's House and The Philanderer. Man and Superman are also famous Shavian plays. Some of the Shavian plays are also known as problem plays that deal with some or the other social problems. It is through his plays that Shaw presents the mirror of the society of his time. One thing is very important to comprehend that humor and wit are the major literary accessories employed by Shaw in almost all his plays. Bernard Shaw has written more than 50 plays and many political writings. His literary over fetches him the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1925. So with this background, let us now talk about the play Arms and the Man. Arms and the Man is a burlesque that mocks the romantic ideas of love and war. The plot of the play is developed on the historical basis of the Serbia-Bulgaria war which was fought in 1885. The major characters in the play are Raina Petkov, Major Petkov, Catherine Petkov, Sergio Serenov, Nikola, Luca and Blanchley. Raina is the main female protagonist who idealizes and romanticizes the concepts of love and war. Sergio Serenov is a major in Bulgarian army. Sergio is a Byronic hero. He is engaged to Raina and just like her, he also romanticizes the concepts of love and war. Blanchley tells Raina that Sergius is just a regular handsome fellow with flashing eyes and lovely moustache, shouting a war cry and charging like Don Quixote at the windmills. This description is quite contrary to Raina's concept of a hero. Major Petkov is Raina's father who is a 50 year old man. His position of a major does not match with his weak skills as presented on the battlefield. On the contrary, he is amazed to see Blanchley's war related super practical sense. Catherine Petkoff is Raina's mother whose notions of love and war are equally exaggerated. Luca is a smart and ambitious housekeeper at the Petkoff family. And last but not the least is the character of Blanchley, who is in complete contradiction to this petkoff serenov group of romantics. Blanchley is a native of Switzerland. He joins the Serbian army and fights against the Bulgarians as the mercenary soldier. It is through the practical disposition of Blanchley that Shaw mocks the concept of idealized patriotism. It will not be wrong to say that Blanchley is the ambassador of Shaw's unique and unconventional ideas over social realism. The story of the play Arms and the Man exposes the fake glory associated with the ideas of love and war. The romantic ideas are outshined by Blanchley's rationalistic thoughts and actions. Dear students, reading of the play will surely give you an insight into the story. Let us move for the critical appreciation of the play. As in Gulliver's Travel by Jonathan Swift, 
so in Arms and the Man by Bernard Shaw that we see how strongly humor do dominates the narrative and dramatic canvas respectively. So much so that we quite often miss the purposeful and satirical tones of these writers. On reading of the play Arms and the Man, we realize that the silly romantic ideas and ideals are vehemently criticized by Bernard Shaw in the projection of the most impressive real world man, Blanchley. Rainer's epithet, chocolate cream soldier for Blanchley, almost dissolves the conventional concept of an ideal soldier. Shaw is a rationalist who sternly criticizes the concept of idealism. In Arms and the Man, Shaw presents two groups of people. First is a chunk of idealists like that of Sergius, Raina and her parental family. And second is a group of some practical people like Blanchley and Luca. The first group idealizes the concepts of love and war, whereas the second group of Blanchley and Luca is rational and analytical in their attitudes towards life. It is imperative to know more about the practical people Blanchley and Luca in the play. Blanchley is a professional soldier. He carries chocolates to the battlefield. He mocks the idea of war by saying that 9 out of 10 soldiers are born fools. He runs away from the battlefield, finds shelter in Raina's bedchamber and openly accepts that he is a fugitive, a beggar and a starving man. Similarly, Luca, the handsome and proud amenity helper at the Petkov house, also does not show any sympathy for Raina's raptures and looks contemptuously at the ecstasies of Raina and her mother Catherine, who are overwhelmed by the news of war victory. Thus, Blanchley and Luca's rationalism is so impressive that it forces their romantic counterparts, Raina and Sergius, to drop down from their high standard snobbery and vanity. Consequently, Raina breaks off with her idealistic notions about love and war and accepts Blanchley over Sergius as her life partner. On the other side, Luca and Sergius also tie a knot of relationship, forgetting the predominant social hierarchy. Thus, we see that the rational approach of Blanchley and Luca works magnetically. At this point, we should also notice that Blanchley's highly practical and rational nature does not make him coarse or adamant. We see him many times correcting himself. He does not want to go ahead with any of the premature thoughts. We can see his politeness in his act of returning Raina's cloak to her and thus saving her from an embarrassing situation in front of the Bulgarian army. We all know that the cloak was the only protective shield for him. We see his decency also when he openly says that he is not the right suitor for Raina who is sophisticated in manners and young in age to him. He says, look at the young lady and look at me. She, rich, young, beautiful, with her imagination full of fairy princes and noble natures and cavalry charges and goodness knows what. And I, a commonplace Swiss soldier who hardly knows what a decent life is. After 15 years of barracks and battles, a vagabond, a man who has spoiled all his chances in life through an incurably romantic disposition. This notable and natural straightforwardness speaks for Blanchley's simplicity and his complete cutoff for, from bourgeois hypocrisy. Raina gets impressed by this and says, you are a romantic idiot. Shaw's selection of words shows how contemplative and purposeful he is all throughout the play. R.J. Kaufman quotes Bernard Shaw himself who says, in my plays there is not a word I have not brooded over until it expressed the exact meaning. Dear students, Arms and the Man is an amusing 
captivating and also revealing social comedy of ideas. This play reveals the social hypocrisy of the prevalent time somewhere between the late Victorian and early modern periods. G. S. Fraser says that Shaw is the father of the comedy of ideas, a man of intellectual genius who represents the stern Puritan seriousness. Shaw's comedy is the comedy of the polished wit and gaiety which schemes the deeper issues of life. Please read the play and enjoy Shaw's dexterity as presented in creating the tug of war between the romantics and the rationalists and the consequent humor with lot more learning lessons. That is it for today. Keep reading. Bye for now.